Well, would you look at that? It looks like they got themselves a new guy. Well, I suppose. All of us get outdated from time to time. What's your name, kid? They, uh, they call me the B-52. Uh, it's nice to meet you guys. You, you have quite the shoes to fill. The B-52. It doesn't really have a ring to it. Hopefully they give you a nickname in the near future. But eight jet engines. Well, you're something right out of a storybook there, aren't you? They wanted me to be like you guys. Uh, but I'm supposed to go higher, further, faster, and carry more. Hey, don't get too cocky there, kid. You haven't even seen your first fight yet. Remember, a bomber has a very, very specific job. Don't I just drop bombs until the ground forces get there? <laughs> Heavens no. You see, kid, we are America's premier force of peace through superior firepower. On December 7th, 1941, long before you were born, we were the victim of a violent, unprovoked attack from the Empire of Japan. I started that war. And I... I ended that war. Some people will argue the morality of it. But how many millions of lives were saved by not having to invade? They signed the surrender anyway. We are delivery boys. Remember, your payload is far more important than you are. If you go, and none of you make it back, but your bombs all hit their targets, you've done your job. You need to try to always be on the right side of history. And if something doesn't look right, it probably isn't right. But if the enemy shows up, you need to fight like the third monkey on the ramp to Noah's Ark. And it just started raining. Thank you guys so much, really. I promise, I won't let you down. I, uh, I, I have to go do some test flights now. I'll, I'll talk to you when I get back. All right, kid, good luck. <laughs> Man, he really is a big, ugly, fat... <laughs> you know, I kind of thought the same thing about you for a little while. Not really sure how long that model's gonna be in use. But I could use a rest. <laughs>